Hello and welcome in you guys. We got One Piece episode 1119. We should be getting the emu silhouette and never has there ever been a silhouette as hyped up as this before. So that being said, let's get into the episode and see what Toei cooks up with these monster designs. Oh, here we go. The entrusted message. King Cobra's baffling resolve. Yeah, Cobra, what'd you get yourself into, man? But like I said, he's on his way out anyways, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Like, he's already coughing, like, nothing's even happening. The guy's just dying right now. Yeah, if you're gonna go out, might as well be in the throne room, right? That voice is so cool. It sounds like a guy and a girl. Which is exactly what a lot of, like, video games and fantasy games do for, like, a godlike character. Because they, like, transcend all. Like Omega out of Final Fantasy. The name of the people who once opposed us. Oh! I never noticed that. Was it always like that? The throne has a bunch of grass coming out of it. What? Grass and moss? Wait, what the hell? Huh, I, I guess this might have always been here and I just never noticed. What? They're hollow shells who don't even know the meaning of their own name. Interesting wording choice. Oh, Yonko spread. Oh, damn, they look cool. I wonder why Lily betrayed them. She was like the only king or queen that actually betrayed the 20 kingdoms. Which is interesting considering she was a part of the coalition that took Joy Boy down. Definitely a lot of things going on there. Also, I'm digging Emu's voice. I kind of hope it never changes. I, I really like this. Why are the Gorsi strapped up, by the way? Say the full name of the letter that the queen sent. So they already know. Why are you just calling your queen Lily? Say the full name. Say it. This is it. <laughs> Imagine he tries to escape. He starts wheeling away. Cobra, you got this, buddy. If I lie, is there any chance you'll let me go? I like how he had to ask that. Honestly, I would too. Exhaust all the dialogue. This is so silly, by the way. The Gorosei whipping out little pistols. You gotta be joking. Oh, yeah. At least, uh, you know, Gandhi back there has a sword. Imagine if he whips out a pistol too. It's the biggest taboo in the world. Oh, do it. Do it. Go out with the bang. What's up, Sabo? Even Sabo's sweating. I love that you can hear his heartbeat just pounding in the background during this whole scene. Oh, oh he's gonna say it. D Lily. Yep. That means Vivi's a D too. Done. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. So in the manga, this was a topic of hot debate because when this arrow comes or arrow tail, what are you going to call it? I think it's a tail, obviously, uh, because it comes from Emu's backside. But when this pierced Cobra in the manga, since it came from the left side, people were speculating that it was maybe one of the Gorosei. But now it is 1000% apparent, you know, no more hallucinations out here. It is Emu. Love that. Also, that looks so sick. I love the red aura it has. Also, oh, Sabo's coming in. A little bit late, Sabo, but that works. I was about to say, though. Oh, Rook check? Slapping it up to Emu? Dude, Emu doesn't even care. Where'd you come from? Oh, and he eats the fire. Hands, hands. 
Yo! And the Goro say, yeah. Transforming. Oh my god. That's so sick. I love these transformations, by the way. Oh, yes. Another, another thing. I, I hate that I, I keep on bringing up the manga. But in the manga, this panel was so divisive for no reason. Oh my god. I remember the debates. The debates were insane. <laughs> They're not real people. Uh, so the, the middle silhouette of the Gorsei right here where you see the two eyes, um, people thought that that was Emu the entire time. They're like, oh, like, why are there only four, or, you know, well, like, we're missing a character. We don't see Emu silhouette here. And it's like, guys, what are you, what are you talking about? Emu's the guy coming down from the stairs, guys. Come on. But yeah, dude, I, I swear to God, you guys go to the manga community sometimes and you will find the most silly debates known to mankind. Like it is literally there. You could see all the characters and somehow people will still find things to argue against it's crazy which to be fair i do the same thing right you know i read the manga i i, I partake in debates as well right I, I got my own loony things as well but at least i have eyes man like it was so apparent i don't know like even if things are, you know how people say like oh even if you know somebody draws it out people won't understand it like that is literally true i don't know why i don't know why uh but enough about my gripes this is awesome um i love the way emu transformed i just gotta see that again i i, I just gotta see that again this is so cool where did you come from transform chomp eats the fire so okay so everybody has their own emu theories i think emu is either like it could be a dragon because you know how they eat the fire right that would make a lot of sense but another thing i'm kind of thinking of right now is that emu just has the opposite fruit of luffy or the opposite power of luffy where they can transform at will and just be willy-nilly that's what i think like a, like a cartoon devil. That has been my theory ever since I saw this. And yeah, it fits. Just the ability to kind of change into anything, you know? I was hoping I'd take you all down. But I never expected to find hell atop of the world. Yeah. Not exactly known that the Gorsa can transform, huh? Oh, the picture! Wait, why is there a camera in the throne room? Did, okay, yeah, did the Gorosei just put a camera there just in case this exact scenario happens? Luffy saved my country. And that's why I'm gonna save you too, Cobra. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. Oh! Yo, the eyes are so awesome. Well, they extinguish the flames. The chase looks kind of silly. Without me, you can make it. It's too late. Leave me behind. Honestly, well, I don't know. He only got hit once. I would think he would survive too. I, I'd, I'd probably still carry him. I don't want you to die here. Tell Luffy and Vivi. Mmm. Huh. Is it a coincidence? We got the same middle name, brother. Do you want the D2, Sabo? Sabo. I, yeah. I mean, that's probably how the D went around in the past, right? You're just part of Joy Boy's crew or a part of his nation, an ally. And he's like, hey, take the D, brother. I wonder if anybody's ever going to lie that they have a D in their name. Oh, and here comes that damn tail again. Oh, he dodges it? Ooh, he dodged the first one, but not the second. God! The white eyes, it pierced. The blood. Dude, that single tail attack is crazy. And that's just like a basic attack. Maybe not even that. Yeah, maybe not even. Also, what the hell is that? 
Is that is that Emu? Why does it, why does Emu look so silly? Why does he bounce? Well, oh, Emu's like bouncing up and down. He's like Pac Man. Yeah, that's that's new. Bear the flag of the dawn. Yeah. This if this is like a a black version of Luffy's white flame and his transformation, then this would make sense because we saw Luffy do that when he was fighting Rob Lucci. Emu is so fascinating. I love that power, by the way. I don't know what it is yet, but it's it's so cool. I I always tend to root for villains in shows. So seeing Emu show like that is crazy. Oh, Sabo's pipe! No! Oh damn, we left his pipe there. Emu's like a blob monster. People have been saying that Emu kind of resembles Umibozu, which is like a, a water spirit in Japanese mythology. And I can kind of see that too. Just because he's so blobby, it's literally like a slime. And that would explain why he ate the fire too, right? If he's like a water slime monster. Freaking Wapple, dude. Run, Wapple, run! Who the hell was that? Who are you? No! Oh, flex, flex, flex. I'm the king. Yeah, yeah, King Wapple. Yeah, he's still VIP for now. Hmm, where's Cobra? We just received word both of them wanted you to carry on without them. Lies! Hmm, the kings we've met are all suspicious, I see. Smarter than the rest. That'd be me, dude. I'd be like, yo, let's get let's get out of here, man. You know, try to kidnap her once, sure. Twice? I don't know. <laughs> After the second time, I'd probably just jump off the cliff and just, you know, land in the water or something. Oh my god, Vivi. Also, word spreads fast. My god. Like, seconds have passed, and they're like, hey, Cobra and Wapple, they're not gonna be at the meeting and also tie up BV. Jabra! Whoa, the full intro? Khalifa? I'm so glad they're CP0, man. I, I freaking love these guys. Oh, yeah, even Kumadori, Bluno, and uh, Fukuro are getting all intros. Look at this. I think in the manga, we only got the intro for Jabra and Khalifa? But oh, look at this. Even Fukuro's getting love. So since Kaku and Luchi are awakened, I wonder if Jabra's awakened too. I feel like it only makes sense if he was. Oh, man. Oh, no. Sigh. Leo, get out of there, man. I, I don't know, brother. You're, you're in the heart of enemy territory. Yeah. Fujitor helped the revolutionaries free the slaves. So he got pissed and they got into a fight. Fujitor is like a sleeper agent, brother. Fuj Fujitor has actively, like... Disrupted so much when it comes to the Navy and the world government. The Doflamingo situation. This situation here with the Revs. Yeah, like, dude, we're the Navy, man. What are you doing? Cut the crap. 
I mean, that's why we love Fujitora, though, right? Fujitora versus Green Bull. Oh! New animation for Green Bull. Hell yeah. Lucky for Vivi, though, here comes Wapple. King Wapple? The craziest part about this is that even though Jabra and CP0 can beat Wapple black and blue, you can't do anything right away because he's a king. Like, you don't want to misjudge the situation. I mean, maybe you can, right? CP0 definitely has, like, that leeway, but still, it's a big WTF moment. Yeah, like, that was King Wapple, right? <laughs> Wait, Bluno has the door door fruit! Bluno, go! Bluno, you can literally teleport! Go! Dude's sleeping on the job. He's not getting paid enough for this, I bet. Like, I remember this scene where, like, Sanji and Robin almost escaped CP9, and then Bluno literally teleported back and, like, got Robin again. Like, Bluno, where's that spunk now? And he, the thing is, he should be stronger. You know, like, hey, Bluno? I don't know, man. I wouldn't trust a door ever again if I was his opponent. What's her name again? Kinderella? Yeah, Kinderella. Hey, there's your husband. Right on cue. <laughs> oh, it kind of feels bad for Kinderella. I think the funniest part is that Kinderella actually likes him, right? It's not even for the money? Or am I wrong? I don't know. A good ending. Wow, decent episode, man. Not bad. Let's look at the uh let's look at the preview now. Is that Lelucia? Yeah. Oh, Chaka and Pell, okay. They're getting some scenes. Sabo escapes. Dude, Sabo's on death's door. Wapple, Vivi, more emu stuff, revs, blood. Oh, and more seraphims. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, next episode is going to be good, brother. It's going to be so freaking good. Uh, but hey, with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for joining me on this little adventure. I really freaking appreciate it. Let me know what you guys thought about Emu and the Gora saying, what do you think his transformation actually is? His or her, whoever it is. I'd love to hear any and all of those thoughts down below, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.